Mathieu Ricard, legendary Tibetan monk, writer, photographer, translator, geneticist, and considered the world's happiest man. Number one. Mathieu's father was a prominent philosopher and journalist. His mother was a painter. He grew up surrounded by his parents' intellectual social circle. Exposure to personalities such as Russian composer Igor Stravinsky led Mathieu to begin contemplating the correlation between talent and being an exceptional human being. Number 2. Mathieu spent his summers during college traveling to India and studying under spiritual masters. After earning a PhD from Pasteur Institute, instead of pursuing a professional career, Mathieu decided to become a Buddhist monk instead. Number 3. After a considerable time living as a monk, in 1997, Mathieu was persuaded to venture back to public life. He collaborated with his father on contemplating the meaning of life in their book, The Monk and the Philosopher. Number 4. In 2000, Ricard volunteered to participate in a research project at the University of Wisconsin, exploring the result of using meditation to train the mind. The results showed that the gamma waves of Mathieu's brain were the most powerful, even compared to other monks in the study who had practiced meditation for at least 10,000 hours. Number 5. In the fifth most consulted scientific study in history, scans showed that Mathieu had an exceptionally high activity in the region of the brain linked to positive emotions. The media labeled Mathieu Ricard as the happiest man on earth a title he was hesitant to accept, since he is happy to say he knows monks who are even happier than he is. Number 6. Encouraged by the Dalai Lama to ignore the semantics and seize the advantage to use Mathieu's new platform as the happiest man on earth to help others. Mathieu has gone on to share the secret to happiness as an author, photographer, and international speaker at events such as the World Economic Forum. Number 7. Proceeds from Matthew's professional endeavors go towards funding the Karuna Sheshen Humanitarian Association that he founded in 2000. The organization serves the underprivileged population of the Himalayas by providing health care, education, and other social services. Matthew has been awarded France's National Order of Merit and the Légion d'Honneur for his notable humanitarian efforts. Like and subscribe. New videos every week. Check out the SDH Legend Library in the description below. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Learn from legends. Be legendary.